Hello everyone, today we are going to demystify LASIK eye surgery, also known as laser-assisted in-situ keratomyelitis. The eye has an outer layer called the cornea, and in some people this layer can undergo changes in shape, leading to vision issues. LASIK is a surgical procedure that can reshape the cornea and is used to correct vision problems. To briefly explain, LASIK involves creating a thin flap in the cornea to be able to remove the affected tissue underneath. The flap is then placed back down. The process will be further explained later on in the video. LASIK is ideal for people with nearsightedness, also known as myopia, farsightedness, also known as hyperopia, and astigmatisms. The surgery, however, is usually not advisable if you have an eye disease that causes the cornea to thin and bulge, have fairly good vision overall, have age-related eye changes that cause vision to be less clear, have had a change in prescription in the last 12 months, or are pregnant or nursing. There are other instances where the surgery is not advisable, but those are a few of the most important. The main benefit of laser eye surgery is that most people no longer have to wear corrective eyewear to see clearly. Individuals may choose to undergo the procedure for several reasons, including being unable to wear contact lenses but preferring not to wear glasses, cosmetic reasons, wishing to undertake activities such as sports that require a person not to wear glasses or contact lenses, or simply having the convenience of not having to wear corrective eyewear. Although it is rare, there may be complications during the surgery that would permanently affect your vision. It is important that you choose a surgeon with a lot of experience. Rarely, you may also lose your best correctable vision, the highest degree of vision that you had while wearing contacts or eyeglasses after LASIK. LASIK surgery is usually completed in about 30 minutes or less. To begin the process, you'll be placed in a reclining chair and you may be given medication to help you relax. During the surgery, you'll be asked to focus on a point of light and staring at this light will help keep your eye fixed while the laser reshapes the cornea. After numbing drops are placed in your eye, the doctor will use an instrument to hold your eyelids open. A suction ring will then be placed on your eye just before cutting the cornea flap and it may cause a feeling of pressure and your vision may dim a little. Your surgeon will next use a small blade or cutting laser to cut a small hinge flap away from the front of your eye. Folding back the flap allows your doctor to access the part of your cornea to be reshaped. Using a program laser, the surgeon will reshape part of your cornea and with each pulse of the laser beam, a tiny amount of corneal tissue is removed. After reshaping the cornea, the surgeon will lay the flap back into place and the flap usually heals without stitches. If you need LASIK surgery in both eyes, it is likely that the surgeries will happen on the same day. Long-term results from LASIK tend to be best in people who are carefully evaluated before surgery to ensure that they are good candidates for the procedure. If you wear contact lenses, which can change the shape of your cornea, you'll need to completely stop wearing them and wear only your glasses for at least a few weeks before your evaluation and surgery. Your doctor will provide specific guidelines depending on the type of contacts you wear and how long you've been wearing contacts for. During the evaluation, your eye doctor will ask you about your medical and surgical history and give you a comprehensive eye examination to evaluate your vision and assess whether you can undergo the procedure safely. Your eye doctor will measure your cornea, noting the shape, contour, thickness, and any irregularities. Your eye doctor will also evaluate which areas need reshaping and determine the precise amount of tissue to remove. Doctors generally use wavefront guided technology to evaluate your eye in detail before LASIK. In this test, a scanner creates a highly detailed chart of your eye. The more detailed the measurements, the more accurate your doctor can be in removing corneal tissue. Before the surgery, your doctor will discuss the risks and benefits of LASIK, what to expect before and after, and any questions you may have. Immediately after surgery, your eye might itch, feel gritty, burn, be watery, and you may also have blurred vision. However, you will generally experience little pain and you will usually recover your vision quickly. You might be given pain medication or eye drops to keep you comfortable for several hours after the procedure, and your eye doctor might also ask you to wear a shield over your eye at night until your eye heals. You'll be able to see after surgery, but your vision won't be clear right away. It takes about two to three months after your surgery before your eye heals and your vision stabilizes. You'll have a follow-up appointment with your eye doctor one to two days after surgery, and they will see how your eye is healing and check for any complications. Plan for other follow-up appointments during the first six months after surgery as your doctor recommends. You might also have to wait several weeks before resuming strenuous contact sports, swimming, or using hot tubs. We hope that our video helps you understand LASIK better, including who needs LASIK, how to prepare for LASIK, how LASIK is performed, and what the recovery process may look like.